Alright guys, um, a little update here on my Marksville. Since I updated my uh, Maze Plus, I got bad news that field we got a uh, moat over there by the highway has since turned into CCM, which yes and no, bad news, but not bad news. I don't really have an easy way to pick it all up. And the grass that I mowed is no longer there. So with that all being said, uh, I have to find a new grass field. But at the same time, it's going to be raining for the next few days in game here. So... I'm just going to give it some time. I got a couple I already picked out that I could do. Well, I should say one field for sure. The second field is actually a pretty big field with nothing else on it just besides the little, um, what am I trying to say here, the little erosion area that has some grass to it. So I don't think I'm going to do that one. And I think honestly... I have enough hay bales to make it a while so what I think I'm going to do is end up plowing my little grass field up and putting it to soybeans just to make some extra money here this uh, this fall coming fall crap probably and that's the CCM field that ended up turning. I got this one planted to soybeans here. And we'll see how much we yield off of the late soybeans like that. I just want to get an idea, see if it's worth it or not. And with all of our straw bales in place here, I should be sitting pretty decent with everything um, we are getting it is midsummer as long as I can keep the bales <laughs> in line here which is not gonna happen probably um, we will carry on and try to get everything going correctly as in my grass fields which I think I should have plenty of corn by the time I chop most of it to harvest some so I can actually make some profit. I do not have uh, grain bins or grain dryers so that's going to have to dry out in the field as long as possible and then we'll store it at the co-op or direct sell it. It's just uh, something that I feel is the best option at the right now because my Maxville map is the most realistic save I've had yet and I want to keep it that way. I'm not going to cheat in a bunch of money to make this work and just run down the lines of every cheat like that. So. As long as I can sneak through this summer and into get into winter, or I should say fall, excuse me, yeah, get into fall and go about the harvesting the corn for silage and then for um, also go see how much of that I can get to actually sell depending on the amount of silage because I don't think we're going to be getting very far here with the uh, cows anytime soon that it's probably my best bet to begin with and then we will here I will uh, <coughs> be getting more cows here hopefully I'm thinking midwinter. Once I get all the corn out and go from there. So the field I plan on 
getting where was that see I can area right here that's not enough grass for me but 48 it's actually pretty big so I mean if I get pick up this area which is all grass I could rent that for pretty cheap I just got to come up with a down payment and the whole brown area you see here is all grass and it's all 100% so I got to get through these rain days here then I'd have one day to mow, one day to bale before the rain comes. We will see how close that forecast actually is here and see if I can even trust them. We all know how that one goes. About the time you get out there and mow, just before you're ready to start raking and baling, usually you get a little shot. So that is my plan here on Marksville and all I can say right now is it's the best I can come up with so I will bring you guys right back into silage harvest here in a couple days and oh yeah that's the other thing I might want to check that out first I actually have to get a chopper and I'm already almost at a million dollar loan I don't know how much I can get so let's get some of that money Ooh, just hit the million dollar mark I don't know about that one we'll get up to about four hundred thousand and the cows sound extremely hungry so hmm, I'm gonna keep them pretty much strictly on hay maybe some cracked corn and stuff I should go grab some buckets and get the CCM in there that'd probably help me out a lot I honestly utilize what maze plus messed up I'm not going to get any milk anytime soon from those. And the pasture should be mostly steers. The little ones they do get out there are not. In, well, there could be quite a few that I can move back into the free stall. Yeah, with update and maze plus there it kind of messes up everything even my mix and ratio or ratio had to go down to forage because of what was left in the TMR mixer is not now correct we will get this guy here real quick because it won't take him that long to do this field 11 get them set up for uh, planting soybeans here quick yes. we'll see how well this works I don't like that course very much at all and I gotta turn off the fertilizer which is Uh, deactivate fertilizer. We will spray this here shortly after we get it planted and that's how we'll do our fertilizer. Keep with the little guy here getting things done. But let's see what we got. I don't know if I'm gonna go self-propelled. I might go pull tight because I don't know. Well, I could get away with leasing one. But then again, I could also just buy one and be done with it. And if I... Yeah, it's this one. Can't remember if I did it right or not. To bring in crack corn, which...
That would be on a self-propelled, and this would be on the pull type. And I don't think I have earlage in my TMR mixture, so that isn't a big deal. No, oh, where'd that go again? But I might have to, I know it's the wrong style, but I might have to just convert this pull type into the three row, which I forgot to go get that chopper too. There is a chopper release on Facebook. I can't remember who did it, but it was a nice John Deere chopper. So I'm going to check that stuff out and bring you guys back up to date on the next video on which chopper I end up getting and if I end up uh, buying a new field. This silo over here should be set up for um, wet corn or how to, however you want to put it. Not necessarily wet corn, but um, earlage and crack corn. High moisture corn, however you want to say it. But, uh, yeah. Till the next video on Marksville, which I got a big one coming up on uh, Mills County that I really want to do, and I've been setting that map up pretty well too, so keep an eye out on the series, and we will bring you guys up next time.